oh, I've got this or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't think it's a silly question. Join these groups. Ask. Yeah. I mean, before I got diagnosed, I was on groups with FND. I was autoimmune diseases, lupus, and and about and, and other. Com- I I couldn't keep up because with I was all the conversations. like yeah, because I was having so many conversations. Are you okay? Yeah. They are out there, and there are people to help, and there are. A lot more people pushing it on things like TikTok. Yeah. And there are also now a lot of doctors and neurologists going on TikTok mentioning it. So would you advise people to record themselves if they or their partner <laughs> if they're having these episodes just as vi- oh, video yeah, yeah, proof? Yeah. yeah. So not to put on people, social media, but uh, no, when you go to people who have episodes or um nerds as they're called, non epileptic seizures. Um, record it all. Yeah. Um, record like your leg spasms, not being able to work, your legs, everything like the way you're talking, the way you're not being able to concentrate. Anything that is a symptom yeah. or not you previously, log it if you can record it. Record it because it, need, it yeah. you need it because unfortunately nothing medically is gonna pick it up and it's going to be uncomfortable and one of the difficult things that you're going to have to reconcile with is that when you're recording yourself and then you're watching it back mm. you're seeing it from a third person perspective because what you want the, in the instance it's happening to you and then you're watching it happen to you and then you have to be okay with that and that we can't advise how you're going to feel about that or how yeah. it's going to be very, I mean, it is going to be difficult. Some people might completely be like, I don't want to know, you know, some people, I mean, I've been really lucky because I don't have nerds, not the sweets. <laughs> um, <laughs> some people lose their license, Yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's life changing and yeah, record, record, log, log, log. If you if if you are able to see a specialist, do it. Do it. But but should they do it right at the start, or do you need to go through? Because we had to go through the process of getting enough information from like A and E and the GP. Yeah, so we had all that. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, if you've had. A big episode, like a big F and D episode. Yeah. You're probably going to be either seeing your doctor or being in A and E. Let's be realistic, you know. Yeah. Um, so they need to log everything down. Yeah. Get the records from the hospital so that they got that. However, it works, which like when we are as in England. Yeah. And then, if they refer you, because they referred you. Yeah. So our to... doctor sent a referral to. But it was going to take, how long? It, it was it eight or nine months? or I, I can't remember how long, but it was like substantially long that we were What, like, for the NHS? Yeah. Oh, the NHS is like a ball of string. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Um, so, so if you can afford it. If you can get private. Um, like I said, some people are lucky enough and they get diagnosed whilst in hospital, but... It is just log, log everything and join groups, speak to people. Don't be ashamed of, oh, I've got this or this. Don't, don't think it's a silly question. Join these groups, ask. I mean, before I got diagnosed, I was on groups with FND. I was autoimmune diseases, lupus and, and, and and other. I I couldn't keep up. Because I was like, yeah. Because I was having so many conversations. Are you okay? Yeah. No. I, I was having so many different conversations with so many different people. And, you know, they're all there to help. Yeah. They're all on these groups. You know, no one's going to... Judge you. Judge you or... I've asked so many stupid questions, you know. Um, so just ask reach out don't feel ashamed some people don't want to talk to their family and friends which you know is is fine i mean i i'm a person that's 
very close to my friends and family and I'm not ashamed or quiet and reserved so but there has to be a realization that if you take that action to say nothing no but this is what I'm saying like I was happy enough to blur everything to my friends and family I wasn't ashamed of what was going on because I've always been open with all my friends and family about my everything you know so but if you aren't like that and you want to talk to people outside of your friends and family all these pages and things you can write messages anonymous yeah you know so do don't I, yeah. d- don't be alone you know you, you've got it even on the wedding pages that they'll post anonymously mm. so you, you know you don't yeah, have to some worry people, yeah don't worry that someone's going to judge you it's a genuine question and if it mm. helps you get to an answer and the quicker, thing is you could be asking a silly question that someone else wanted to ask but was too afraid yeah ask ask and ask and ask brilliant just just ask document log ask hound the hound 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 your doctor if you do need to go through the nhs constantly hound them if you can afford yeah to go private do it, do it.